What's going on gamers? You are trying to get caught up for Final Shape or you're trying to help your friends get caught up because we all know that your clanmates probably aren't playing right now. Just kidding. Anyways, I'm going to do a full breakdown of how to return to Destiny 2, how to get all your materials up, what weapons to go for, and there's going to be some chapters down below in the video. So if you want to skip ahead, I understand. But if you watch the whole video, it does help out the algorithm. Don't forget to sub and like. One thing I didn't put in this video was pretty much what weapons to focus on. That'll be in the Final Shape prep guide. Mainly you want to focus on a fusion rifle in the kinetic slot or the energy slot get yourself a sunshot this season with an apex with the riven wishes but other than that don't worry about catching up on every single god roll that everyone has and what we're using but simply get your account caught up get those materials ready so if you're looking for what weapons to farm before final shape i'll have that in the prep guide enjoy the video all right it's guardian games folks you just turned on the game you're wondering why Graham is sitting here looking like a snack well, you're going to pick this up. You're going to be like, whoa, what is all this new stuff I can do? There's only one goal here besides making grandma happy. And that is the skimmer. You want to do that skimmer quest. You want to make sure you get it. Everyone's like, man, I need that. I need that. I need that. So we're going to go look. And this quest is very simple. Or an eight step quest you go do. Just follow the quest do it so once you finish best in class you're going to get another quest from her that's called drop in now you're probably going to see three steps it's going to say you can do 1200 medals you can do three boxes you can do 10 percent nightfall do the 10 percent nightfall if the score is too high if you want to know how to get those three focus boxes it's really simple when this focus activity drops every six hours the first class you go in i would say play hunter every single time and you'll get a focus package each day if you really need help getting a skimmer ask friends or play for it if you really need help getting this come into live chat ask for help or there's another way that's right ladies and gentlemen it's time to say screw that quest and screw everything else because it's time to pull out our wallets maybe you just want to buy the skimmer that's what we want right spend money on the game so we don't need to worry about that a lot of returning players might do this if you're wondering how much it is it's 2500 silver but you're gonna get a gallahorn winged wolf skimmer this is cool we can put some gameplay on the screen for you right now this is me grinding with it it's insane what i say is if you got the money to spend just swipe the card screw that quest because you got other stuff to work on right you just return to the game and trying to get caught up that's just my opinion but yeah enjoy guardian games uh, i've posted other videos on that but get some weapons from it just have fun with it when you return to the game and you're playing on your main class just because you don't have a hunter or a warlock even created and you just play on titan you should still grab exotics from Zer like i did and i'm getting ready to show you i'm going to create a hunter and since i grabbed hunter exotics the past three weeks i'm able to just bump my hunter's power level like crazy and then you can grab this exotic however you like i'm not going to waste it because i don't want to waste an exotic cipher i already used it but you should definitely pick up exotic ciphers every single week because these are so important because we're going to take them to the kiosk and you can unlock as many weapons as you like you can also get these from the riven wishes but a lot of people are going to tell you don't use them in riven wishes because you can get a crafted apex or something else but we'll get to that later i feel like as a returning player like this is very very huge i'm going to go over this right now might as well while i'm here what should you grab should you grab any of these old weapons like coming back to the game a lot of people are going to say yes um, but remember we're just going over the nitty-gritty do you want to get a, a shotgun for a crucible obviously fell winners is a play you don't need any ciphers for this adored salvo but everything else i'm just going to tell you to kind of ignore i think these three are good null composure is really good i'm a big fan of it if you got materials you can buy this one too but there's other fusion rifles in the game coming into the witch queen exotics these are all up to you grand overture is really good for dps everything else is just kind of fun build lightfall exotics obviously quick Silver Storm and uh, Verglass definitely important going into red war i think you pick sleeper the reason why whisper the worm people don't proc the whisper breathing you might have trouble with it you should definitely practice with this whisper is actually good if you want a good dps weapon sleeper simulants where it's at and you can't pick up an acreus because unfortunately it's 240 spoils coming into forsaken as long as you don't own forsaken you should be able to get three free exotics if you if me i'm gonna go for dps weapons so izanagi is definitely the play for me or you can go for your pvp weapons like last Password ace and of course thorn you should definitely get yourself an anarchy to enjoy it. its favorite grenade launcher in the game but it does cost the spoils coming in a shadow keep exotics so yeah weather horde definitely going to be uh the way to go in my opinion but working on the catalyst is going to be a pain levy's breath probably this only one else i'd uh pick up but i do want to point out as you see it does cost exotic ciphers but these exotic ciphers from Zer are very important so if you just sign on and do them every week you can stack them up leviathan's breath and weather horde so that pesky weather horde catalyst that we were talking about here it is points earned when you complete vanguard operations gambit crucible matches and seasonal playlist activities yes 
300 points it's pain grenade launcher multi kills you need 200 as you see i'm at 198 then you need to go into pvp and get guardian grenade launcher kills i recommend to do this on the privacy playlist that's available now momentum control and other stuff like that but it's a pain but you definitely want to finish this catalyst very important to finish going into the beyond light exotics age of scepter is probably one of the most underrated weapons in the game a community favorite is tiku's so anarchy is my favorite weapon in the game it just it's unique it was it just terrorized everything when it came out you're probably seeing that you need spoils of conquest as a returning player i wouldn't really worry about farming for spoils right now again that's going to take you to find playing with teams i know some people will tell you as a solo player we'll just go into the raid at a certain checkpoint like certain raids and just grab the chests look here i'm not telling you to do that i think you could simply find a team to go but if you want to look up ways how to get spoils without doing the raid go for it i'm here to tell you it's very very simple to farm for spoil when you get to that point where you're actually like leveled up you could be 1800 you and everybody else need spoils there's a lot of people in the community that need spoils you could just be like hey guys i watched clyde's video i heard that you can farm the witch encounter in crota i'm gonna bring a tractor cannon so you guys can do crazy amounts of damage right there you just became the best friend of the fire team because jimmy's in the background like oh my god i got my dps loadout on this guy's coming in he's gonna give me tractor i'm gonna hit 16 million screenshot thrown in my twitter bio you just made his day farm that encounter it's so easy kill three witches nuke the boss in 15 seconds do it over and over and over and over and over i just say go straight to crota have fun so let's talk about deep sight harmonizers so how these work in your season pass as you see here i didn't want to level mine up or anything i just wanted to show you what a fresh pass looks like you got one here two three four Four, five, six. All right, so you get six in your season pass. Um, there is some ways for you to look at your previous season passes. You can go on bungie.net and actually look up your previous season. Uh, we'll put that link in the description of the video. There is a plugin that you can use on Firefox. It's called Season Pass Pass. Some people thought that it doesn't work. It actually still does. You can go back a couple seasons and grab old stuff, but Let's just say you don't have any of that. You don't have to worry about it. But if you want to look up that extension, it's called Season Pass Pass. So with Deep Set Harmonizers, a lot of people are wanting to know how to use them. You can pretty much buy weapons from Xur, uh, get raid weapons from the raid and turn them into deep sites. As a returning player, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you what to use them on. Me personally, you shouldn't use them at all. And here's why. Take this with a grain of salt, but we heard that Bungie's going to be dropping some new info in April and there might be an activity that you can do to get deep site harmonizers. If that's true, that pretty much means that you can play catch up and craft all the weapons that you're missing, but take that comment with a grain of salt. I can't sit here and tell you what to use these on me personally, I think you save them. Grind for the weapon. Let's just say you're grinding for one crafted weapon that caught your eye in a video and you have four out of five. Maybe use one deep side harmonizer to get your fifth one but don't just go dump and waste everything because there's a lot of ways for you to get caught up in the game right now. Mostly example would be uh, Riven Wishes. So when you're returning to the game, upgrade modules are expensive. You might not think that these are, but trust me, 10 legendary shards, a pop, one enhancement core, and some glimmer you might not have. I'm gonna get scalded for this, but I don't care. Your best friend as a returning player is you don't need to worry about bright dust. Stay away from this bright dust. It's a trap. But just remember, every week you sign in from now until Final Shape, you're gonna get 700 free Bright Dust. that will be right here on this main page. Don't look at any of these. Don't look at, don't look at this. That's 2,500 silver right there. We're not, we're not talking about that. We're looking right down here. We want the, the concentrated matter gem. The reason why these are important as a new player, you're gonna be infusing a lot of stuff. Remember, you're gonna be cleaning out your vaults too. You got a lot of garbage in there. If you wanna know about cleaning out your vaults, that'll be in a Final Shape prep guide. But buying these is very important because when I made my new account or my alt account, I did the legendary campaign. When you do the legendary campaign, every time you get loot, you will get some upgrade modules to drop. But when I got done with the legendary campaign and I started getting good weapons, I ran out of upgrade modules and I'm like, man, this sucks. And I had to keep buying them. I'm gonna actually go demonstrate in a clip right now how easy it is to get these to drop. So once you buy the matter gems for bright dust, if you'd like, I'm gonna show you an easy farm. Chat showed me this one. I haven't uh, had to do this ever, but you're gonna come to Sorrow's Harbor of the Moon. You're gonna go down here and there's gonna be a little puzzle and I'm being told to shoot the wrong symbol. So Beesburger would be first. I'm gonna shoot this. Is there gonna be a knight that spawns? There is. All right, I just got a drop. But it wasn't what I wanted because I didn't pop one of these. So uh, let's uh, make sure that we pop it this time. Okay, I guess we're just gonna keep doing this until we get our drops. 
You can also do this for enhancement cores, I guess. Aha, there we go. There's our upgrade module. So yeah, this is an easy farm if you want to just get them all knocked out. Remember, you're guaranteed a upgrade module. Back to back, back to back. See, now we're good. So look at all the materials you're saving. You're saving all those cores. You're saving all that glimmer and you're saving legendary shards. So me personally, I think this is a way better upgrade module farm. Spend the bright dust. Don't waste your materials because you probably don't have any. So now let's talk about the material exchange that Master Raul has now. A lot of people don't know this, but this is unlimited. This is where you exchange for materials. If you need prisms, it's gonna cost you cores, which you're probably not gonna buy. If you need shards, you can buy unlimited amounts. As you see, it is expensive. If you need alloys, they're here. These special orders are limited, so you can only pull so many from this. They're a little cheaper, but it only lets you pull for so many times per week. But you're not gonna need to pull from any of this because I would recommend doing the coil. When you finish this activity, you get a whole bunch of uh, golf balls. We call these golf balls and oranges. You will get plenty of those. But wait for upcoming weeks like double nightfall rewards. I feel like tons of this stuff just drops. But if you're farming prisms, like let's say you have 40 prisms and you got a ton of glimmer, what should you buy? Well, if you want to craft the weapon, you should buy alloys if you want to upgrade your gear you should buy ascendant shards so main thing you want to focus on is getting enhancement prisms and we're going to go over that right now so there is a thing on your ghost called prism harvest uh earn bonus enhancement prisms when completing ritual activities this is huge also check out for doing nightfall farming nightfall farming with double rep double rewards really easy to do i do want to point out that it is double nightfall rewards this week on lake of shadows so go ahead and go run some low level ones even if it's hero or legend the reason why you're wanting to farm those engrams from zavala is i'm going to point out in a second here but you definitely want to farm some nightfalls this week simply because you want to get those prisms going and you're also going to want to get as many Zavala engrams as you can. So why are these prisms so important? Well, I'm gonna show you Stonks 101. This is a very boring strat, but you can sit here and get a thousand of, of these. You can get a thousand enhancement cores on a new account. And here's how. We're gonna go into our armor. We're gonna go into leveling. We're gonna go into the helmet. I just buy this helmet. You can buy whatever you want, but I stick with the helmet. So I wanna pay attention. We are at 108 cores. We are at 41 prisms. You're gonna sit here and keep buying these helmets over and over and over and upgrade them to eight. It costs three enhancement cores, one prism. You need a prism to make this work. So as you're farming these nightfalls, use your prisms. The reason why is when I delete this, three cores turns into six. Three cores, I spent one prism, got three cores. I can do this 40 more times and get 120 enhancement cores. Do this over and over and over until you don't have to worry about any more materials. While we're here, I might as well just show you what these special orders are. You're probably like, well, Clyde, I can buy five cores right now for one prism and some glimmer. Well, let's see how many times I can do this. Oh man, only did it three times. But hey, that's a free 15, right? You could do it every week. So stacking with the helmet strat that I just showed you and buying these might help your stonks a little better, but hey, you know. Let's not forget either that Banshee does have some bounties here. If you sign on, you can do these four daily bounties per character. It takes about five minutes per character. So I don't wanna hear it that people don't have enhancement cores. I just showed you the easiest way to do it. Uh, another thing I wanted to point out about Banshee is there's gonna be a lot of missing quests here. Uh, I just wanted to show you that I have that missing lament quest here also he's going to be the guy that's going to have a lot of your catalysts so if you're looking for certain catalysts come here and check and see if banshee's got it or it might drop in any of the ritual activities just look up anytime you're getting a catalyst for a weapon just look it up and see where it's going to drop when you're just returning to the game and you're kind of like me like i don't have a lot done on this account but again you're coming into the tower you really don't know what's going on we told you to go see Zer because there has you exotic ciphers and exotic ciphers are very important because i showed you the exotic vaults that you can buy from but why is it so important to farm nightfalls well you can get yourself an easy rocket launcher you might not know this but you can actually focus engrams for a hothead right now once you focus a hothead once it'll be five engrams and then it goes down to three you need a rocket launcher if you want to you can get a hothead you don't need to get nothing crafted i'm just pointing this out that you could do this remember that there is a new sword coming out on march 19th reset it is a vortex spinny sword it's got bait and switch it's got eager edge you could zoom around with it we don't know if you're going to be able to move skate with it yet but we'll figure it out but i just want to point out that you, if you want some weapons from zavala you can come over here and grab some vendor weapons
weapons because that's what you're trying to do, right? Is get back into the game and grab some stuff. I would grab a hothead and that's about it. Everything else is kind of iffy. Remember, we're not sitting here telling you to grab every weapon. We're just trying to get you back into the game. But I just wanted to point out that Zavala and some of the vendors might have some weapons that you like. We will be talking about what you need to do, though, is go to Marasov and start those Riven Wishes so you can craft an Apex Predator because you just got back into the game. So I'll be showing that very soon. When you come over to a vendor like Shax, he's going to have some weapons as well. And everyone knows you want that Riptide with auto-loading chill clip. I do want to point out that Blowout is the same frame as a Hothead. So if you get a good roll on Blowout, keep it. Same thing with Banshee. Although uh, I told you that you can come here and pick up some quests like Lament. I don't have Beyond Life, but you know what I mean? You might see a Cartesian here. You might not have one. Grab it up. Check the vendors. If you want to grab some upgrade modules, you can. But I'm broke. I only got 293 shards. I can't really afford that. If you think I'm going to go tell you to visit the drifter himself, you can go say hi, but you don't need to grab anything from him unless you like breakneck. But I'm not even going to go down there. The reason why you should come to Hawthorne is I'm recommending that you join a clan. There's weekly drops. There's weekly clan drops. There's a free pinnacle and then you get your gambit and plan drops definitely join a clan even if you tell them like hey i just returned to the game can i join you guys for some drops let them know let them know that you're using them who cares also if you plan on doing last wish make sure you pick up the quest that quest looks like oh deep sight mine pretty much you pick this up so you can guarantee that you get a red frame at uh, the end of the raid you just come here and pick it up i'm gonna buy some raid banners because i'm broke let me get a stack ikora is very important this season ikora is so important because we have sent those steps we have dune marchers we have heart of the most light we have three exotic there's some other ones there's i mean look, look at these three exotics that are really good here and then we went to shao han on the cosmodrome and he gave you tractor cannon he gave you arbalist and there's monte carlo the game is pretty much letting you guys catch up so quickly by just picking up some of these quests also subclasses are very important i hope you have a lot of glimmer if you don't you're going to learn what glimmer is because you got to meditate a lot of subclasses not only do you need it for your light subclasses you can also so by your stasis subclass, which I'll get to that. So let's teach you how this works. I'm going to go into not my solar subclass because I have everything. So let's just go into grenades for our void subclass. We're going to buy a grenade and we're going to hit the meditation. So we get that grenade unlocked. A lot of people don't meditate here. So I just showed you how to do it. Easy dub here. I want to point out that there are some pinnacles that got changed that some of you might not know about. So this is Vanguard Ops. It says do three ritual activities and you'll get an exotic also it does say that for gambit and it does say that for crucible but let's say you're just you like crucible you can do nine crucible games and get three exotic engrams you can do nine strikes and get three exotic engrams they don't make it to where you do three of each no more you could just keep going so find your favorite playlist three exotic engrams per character per week that adds up right now making a hunter and showing people how to return to the game going here hunter i i, I haven't made a new character in the game in a while let's see what happens Oh man, hold on a second. Can we just enjoy it for a minute? Just just for a minute. Just <sighs> When things were simple, when Bungie put stuff in the game and said deal with it. What a great what a great clip right there. This is a fresh hunter, literally just came out of the first mission and you're probably like, hey, what am I doing? How do I get this uh, ball rolling on an alt? Well, I'm gonna show you. I'm simply just going into my vault and I'm grabbing the three highest weapons, okay? I'm also gonna grab my three exotics that I grabbed over the weeks. So now, obviously I can't put the other exotics on because I need legendary gear, but simply by having an 1800 arm piece, an 1800 chest piece, an 1800 legs just sitting here, you're gonna see where this is going. It's going to boost this character very, very high. You have to remember that I don't have max weapons on this account either. So my weapons were a little higher. My power level would be even higher. Let's go to the planetary armor guy. All right, so we're gonna come up here. Are we gonna get lucky here? Yes, we are. And the reason why is because the, we just need legendaries. So we need gauntlets, we need chests and boots. We're just gonna keep the chest down though. So we just need gauntlets and boots. So what we're gonna do here is buy gauntlets and boots. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is quick maths. Remember, we're gonna take advantage of 
buying these exotics from previous weeks because I, I you know i took my time and the reason why you want to do this is you're like prepping to make a new character so buying those exotics from Zer really helps you out and as you see here i'm 1751 without doing anything so if i just speed run a campaign lightfall i can just speed run the campaign i don't need to do a legendary run i can just speed run the normal campaign and call it a day it's very simple to get caught up let's talk about ghosts uh i feel like this is very important what you put on your ghost if you want xp you should run blinding light but there's also some cool things in your ghost now that you can pay attention to discipline armor is going to be your favorite thing i never take this off the reason why you want to do discipline armor on your ghost is because most builds are resilience recovery discipline or mobility resilience discipline if your ghost mod is on discipline it's your armor will spike with discipline and these three and these three are separate so if your ghost mod puts the spike on for discipline it could spike with resilience as well and then you add like a mobility mod for a hunter if i was on my titan or my warlock i'd have discipline mod on my ghost get lucky it spikes with resilience and then i just put a recovery mod on never take off discipline armor another thing i want to point out with some of this uh, armor from the high stats remember a returning player larry the carry is a legendary account look at this i have double 100 gear and it's okay that i only have 67 recov i'm a titan even on my main account my main Main build is 10 9 10 because i didn't get my triple 100s just because it changed the fragments anyone that tells you you need triple 100s or double 100s to play destiny they're a liar if you could just go to these seasonal vendors and just spam your engrams you're going to be able to get a build so don't panic don't worry about any of this stuff right away because you probably don't have a lot of materials to level up all your gear so don't freak out about stat distribution worry about that end game or getting ready for final shape if you want to look for materials and you're looking to get stuff out of completing activities you can take this mod off and go on to something like like enhancement prisms when completing activities enhancement cores from completing activities so there's a reason why you're changing your ghost just to get some of your inventory and some of those enhancement prisms and enhancement cores that you might not have so obviously if you've played on your main characters before and this is your alt character and you just wanted to play catch up you know you're gonna have to go through the boring stuff to unlock all the seasonal content again usually what i do is i unlock all the seasonal content on my main on my other characters i don't even bother unless i need to like dump engrams but you're gonna have to run the story on this character anyway you're gonna have to go through the campaign for lightfall so by the time you end you'll be well above 1800 power and you'll also have your strand subclass unlocked i do want to point out that i cheated here i did join up on my teammate because i didn't want to open all this stuff but once you get to this point the reason why i wanted to open up this season of the witch stuff is because i looked at my engram tracker and i realized that i had 33 engrams just sitting here because let's just say i just started playing again but i haven't played since season of the witch what i want to do here is try and play catch up with these engrams so maybe the game's going to be nice to me and let me grab some armor oh my god but remember we just made this character we had to do the intro mission we had to do just a few things so now we're just going to get that helmet we're going to get that class item i'm going to buy one at a time here so there's my helmet and then get my class item and just like that a new character is at 1791 base kind of impressive that you just made this hunter maybe 30 to 45 minutes ago and you can simply just play catch up that fast now i could sit here and keep spamming these engrams but they will keep scaling so let's just do it for testing purposes we're gonna actually keep going remember we got our ghost on discipline might get a good helmet here i mean for a returning player getting stats like this i mean there's no mobility on this hunter but man that's actually kind of nice not gonna lie so now let's go down to our cloak here now we're going to go back to our helmet and the reason why this was so easy because i was just patiently waiting and i bought some engrams from zur this is a good helmet for a hunter i would take it i mean i don't need recov but and just like this ladies and gentlemen we have just hit 1800 power on a brand new character so please make sure you play on all three classes because you can use this hunter when final shape comes out do some pinnacles on this hunter and then swap the gear over to your main like you're a warlock main or a titan main you're just using this alt character right here to level up your main class it's that simple this is how you make a character and get to 1800 in less than an hour nice little trick and you're probably asking well clyde what if i didn't have those engrams sitting there if you had no engrams sitting there at any previous seasons and you just returned to the game you could easily get these pieces like i just got from public events playing the game world drops anything the game will just drop stuff you don't need to save up three weeks of zur like i did you can just go grab one zur piece 
one 1800 piece with three upgraded weapons from your previous character will be more than enough just to show you what that would look like there you go so with three weapons and one piece you're looking at 1700 power just making a new character so you went up 100 power levels and each time you play you're going to get drops because we all know that you're going to go through the campaigns you're going to go through at least the new campaign of lightfall so you can get strand and maybe go through beyond light to get stasis so you're easily going to be at 1800 in no time so there's three of these that rotate every week. It's Versage, Seraph Shield, and Vox Obscura. Vox drops one of my favorite auto rifles in the game simply because it has this intrinsic perks land tank that stacks with all damage resist. It's insane. But if you do a Vox, you can get stuff like Dead Messenger. You can get Sweet Sorrow. If you do Seraph Shield, you can get Retrofit Escapade. You can get the Arc Trace. You can get an Akelos SMG. And if you do Presage, you can get that Kalos mini tool that everybody's drooling over also beloved but i'm letting you guys know right now this is terrible the drop rate is so bad you might want to hold off if you got nothing else to do and everything else on your checklist is good and you and you want a retrofit or you want a sweet sorrow or you want a callous mini tool and zur doesn't have it because if zur has it you can buy them and make them red frames with your harmonizers but i'm just letting you guys know drop rate it's either you, you you play the lottery and you get two red frames back to back or you probably won't see one for a few hours all right so let's talk about the helm uh there's going to be three vendors you can unlock uh this is the first one do you want to sit here and grind all these weapons me personally you can do this down the road this will go away when final shape drops because final shape always takes away the seasonal activities from the previous expansion i think you're wasting your time i know you're probably like well clyde they can pick up this and they can get the armor and the high stat if you want to do that you can i mean it, it literally tells you complete the descent mission which can be launched from the helm so you can pick up this quest right here if you'd like to do it go for it i think you, like i experienced it but i'm gonna focus you on another vendor but if you'd want to come here and get any of these weapons go for it try on the seasonal activities listen to what it tells you to do this is the war table same thing here you can complete the quests you need to do the seasonal activity that's tied to this so to point this out i probably have to travel to the farm first and unlock this and then it'll tell you your next step and your next step that's how you can start running these with the war table again this is kind of iffy for me i know people would say well clyde they should go back and do this stuff i mean regnant's nice but there's other gls in the game i just think this stuff might be iffy it's not on your to-do list that's top priority but if you want to after you've knocked everything else out sure come enjoy the content you paid for it just not really on my high priority list all right so now i want to point out what i did to get the armor so i started playing on this account in this season with season of the witch and i focused a lot of this armor so this is where i'm trying to show you how important it is to get this armor from the current season that you're playing on you're going to get this from riven the next vendor i'm getting to but i i just kept that discipline mod on my ghost and i rolled it as you see here i put on a resilience mod so this rolled with recov and my discipline mod and i got the triple 20. same thing here like this is a hunter's dream to get an armor piece like this this seasonal armor is really good so if you're returning to the game and you're playing on the new season riven is going to give you that very juicy armor now this is just saying that you don't have any of the old stuff but remember you're coming back to probably play some of this old content because you have time just make sure that you do all the seasonal activities it's very simple you just open up your helm like this and you just kind of see what missions you have to unlock certain stuff and then you'll start getting Getting seasonal quests you'll get quests about the seasonal stuff i picked up every single quest that i possibly could on this account and i'm going to be deleting them so stay tuned for that one marasov she's very important now the first week's pretty simple public events dreaming city activities uh i actually have a uh a TikTok, uh for each one except the last one so if you wanted to find out the easiest way to do this but they're really simple once you um complete this you'll be able to i'll just pick this up as you see here, we'll be able to pick up two. We're able to pick up three. We're able to pick up four. We're able to pick up five. We're able to pick up six. So as you've seen, six there, but you get seven keys. Why is this important? Well, look what we got right here. All you gotta do is five of them and you get an Apex Predator crafted. The reason why this rocket launcher is so important because you can craft three different weapons. You're gonna put Handling Masterwork on every single one. You're gonna put Quick Launch on every single one. You're gonna put Impact Casing on every single one. Now we're gonna come into the perks. Reconstruction Bait and Switch. Reconstruction Bipod. Reconstruction Explosive Light. Put those three in your vault all the day. If you're like, man, I don't know. I really don't wanna waste five of my seven keys on that. Well, you can look and see what your options are. If you're a Warlock or you plan on playing on a Warlock, this is a most broken helmet in the game for team play it makes unlimited heavy i'd be surprised if bungie doesn't nerf it we will see titan you want to you want a nighthawk like a golden gun well this is the nighthawk golden gun gauntlets for the titan 
you can just put on burning maul slam your super on the ground and get huge damage other than that i really wouldn't worry about nothing ambient leap boots are eyeing me up but i really would buy five apexes this is what i do i would buy five apexes and i would either buy pyrogales or cenotaph or mega brain here you're saving those last two keys to buy exotic ciphers why is exotic ciphers important because you can go to the kiosk in the tower and get any exotic you want all right so this is why it's important to do uh this season's activities because you're gonna get a lot of these wish engrams and once you do coil so many times you're looking to unlock every single armor piece once you do coil so many times and play the seasonal stuff this season you will have this option and look once you unlock everything it's not too bad it's two engrams per piece if you want to see what these pieces can drop discipline armor on my titan i mean these are nice pieces you don't need artifice armor you get pieces like this you're good to go so if you want to worry about high stat stuff enjoy these high stats from riven this is another chess piece this is another chess piece but again worry about the stuff down the road but if if you want my opinion i think you you find out that most people are running the coil and they're doing the new season and so Riven should be your first seasonal vendor you go to. And if you got time to go to the old ones, the War Table and the Seraph and all that, I would just focus on doing this seasonal content stuff because it's going to be easier to find people to play with. So if you're just coming back to the game, you're probably wondering how people are flying around and being so quick. That's because they're using an Eager Edge sword. What's nice about this sword is that it drops from dares and dares is a free activity. So what's nice about dare weapons is all you got to do is run dares once a week on any class. It's account based and it's going to drop you a guaranteed red frame that you don't have well i got lucky and got the red frame other half you only need one of these so you can craft it with eager edge but on march 19th bungie is dropping a new sword in the game there's also a other sword not the other half half truth this also drops but you need five patterns but if you get a half truce in the dares activity and it comes with eager edge you can fly around so if you don't want to farm dares on march 19th bungie's dropping a new sword called the slammer it's going to be at the vanguard this does drop with eager edge a lot of people are looking to get eager edge with bait and switch or eager edge and any damage perk so keep your eye on out for this but i definitely recommend you get an eager edge sword so you can run around and keep up with your buddies zoom zoom and maybe hit the heavy button and throw some people off the map in game of course huge announcement here Every returning player should have 30th anniversary. Why? Because it's tied to Gallahorn. So I just bought it on this account and it's telling me right now to pick it up from Zer. If you want to know where he is, it's on Jabroni Island. You click on Eternity and you come here to Zer's Treasure Horde. When you pick up this quest, it's going to tell you to keep going. And I'm actually going to show you how to get this Gallahorn quest finished and give you some simple tips and tricks. Returning gamers, new lights, it doesn't matter. This is a very important uh, NPC in front of us. Goes by Shao Han, but really it's asked to cross. We know, but we know his secrets. It's, it's cross his side job. He's not fooling me. The reason why Shao Han's so important is you're about to get three exotics. I just picked up my Gallahorn quest and it told me to come here. You're going to get the Arbalist quest and a tractor cannon. We love tractor cannons. So this guy's really important here. Here's our Gallahorn. Bang. There will be another quest here for you. I'm actually going to switch characters and show you what that is for the Arbalist. Here we go. So this is your Arbalist quest. Make sure you pick this up. Very important weapon to get. If it was your first character, the tractor cannon key is per account so i'll have a key here for you turn around it'll be lit up open it up get tractor cannon all right so we're getting ready to finish this boss fight of grasp of avarice this is for your gallahorn you only need to do this encounter to get the gallahorn to drop if you want to get the catalyst i recommend dado video because he probably breaks it down in a video teaching you how to interact with chess but i just wanted to prove to you that you can simply just do one encounter Easy dub here. We're gonna get the kill here. We got the wolf pack round. So now when you pick up that Gallahorn quest and you go to the final boss of GOA, and after you go find the weapon parts, you just come here and craft your Gallahorn. Yay! If you're looking how to get the Gallahorn catalyst, I'd look up another Dado guide because I'm sure he made a video on it. You have to get three chests. It's pretty simple and uh, get another clear. But at least you got Gallahorn now. So if you're a returning player and you're like, hey guys, I got Gallahorn or I got Tractor. Everybody in the fire team is going to love you because you're debuffing or you're buffing their rockets and they will play endgame with you. Trust me, it works. So we know you just signed into the game. We know you just saw about 20 pop-ups asking you to pay to win everything. No, I'm just kidding. But when we look at this, this is 
bad. I just want to point out everything I'm telling you to do and get rid of. You will not lose any progress on any quests. It's saved. It's going to go to the quest archive here. And there's also one in the helm. But I'm here to clean your inventory up. I have like OCD about this on my account. I like having clean stuff. So I'm just going to go through it and show you the bare minimum stuff you need to return. If it's like boring XP stuff, I always say get rid of it. Obviously, this is my new Riven of Wishes and my Gallahorn. We're going to keep that. This is Arbalist, which I want to keep that sweet business. I got that from my Cora. Uh, Exotic Cypher, I got that from Xur, so we want that. That's all important. Uh, the reason why I have this old seasonal artifact is so I can get engrams from that seasonal activity. You need to have this from the Season of the Witch on you so that you can get cool old stuff. Same thing with this one. You get this from shadow keep and <laughs> just mentioning shadow keep expansion or anything had that has to do with any of the shadow keep campaign uh you probably want to get out of here i do want to point out that i'll be going over campaigns here very soon in the video and you'll be surprised what you're going to hear about shadow keep again another one shadow keep get it out uh this is season of the witch this is asking me to use these player cards and finish them i'm getting them out I ain't got time for that. Remember, I can I can do all this stuff once I do all the important stuff, but I don't need to worry about seasonal content. If it's not an important quest to unlock something, or I don't want participation trophies right now. It's just not for me. Uh, speak with Marasov at the farm in the EDZ. That is tied to uh, a seasonal story, so we'll hold on to that. Likely suspect. I think this drops red frame. I don't know if it does or not. You know what? We'll keep it. We'll be nice. I think this dropped from Ikora or Hawthorne. I can't remember. But this is a quest that you have to do 10 dungeon runs maybe more just kidding on day one we had to do like six or seven or eight dungeon runs to complete this quest and you get a possible reward of exotic we thought it was going to be something crazy but it was actually a random exotic if you run with someone that has all the doorways open they could pretty much carry you through it and do every single step in a in a run or two if you want to do this you can but ugh, i wouldn't recommend it war runner again it's tied to an exotic so it's like maybe i'll keep it but for me i'm just going to get rid of it one thing I do want to point out about this, I just went over this, but it does drop an exotic that you haven't gotten yet. So if you got friends, make sure you get it. Holy smokes, we got a wish ender quest here. If you don't get wish ender done, you're throwing. Please get wish ender. It's a very pinnacle PVE activity. Weapon, just go get it. Wish ender is very simple to get. You just got to do a shattered throne, talk to a statue, and interact with some orbs. Uh, it's very simple to do. Dado video. Anytime you're wanting to get a, an exotic weapon, just look up Dado's video and he'll take you through a nice guide. Chaperone. It says reset my crucible rank i'm sorry i didn't know who asked me to play crucible in this day and age malfeasance you should definitely go get that one i'm gonna tell you to go play gambit you'll have a lot of fun the reason why i think you should do this quest for armor synthesis is because it introduces you to transmog and how to change your armor around i'll leave it here but i don't want to this is just an xp quest as you see i need one more rank for the X xp but i'm just gonna get rid of it any quest that just gives me xp i can get xp in the game i don't need it remember i picked up all these quests just to show you guys how to clean them out because you're very overwhelmed if it's not important i'm getting it out of here same thing with here i don't need xp i'm just back in the game i'm looking to have some fun so this is tied to wish ender this is the three that you need you, you need to get their minotaur your captain your ogre so when you're following the guide watch this and it'll all work together seasonal content stuff here again i'm gonna get rid of it this is tied to season of the witch as you see i'm at 7, 17 out of 51 do i need to keep playing it i can but i don't need to so it'll stay there because it's tied to something uh this is niamuna since this is niamuna we're gonna keep it because it does drop a powerful gear and that's something you might need so since this is tied to niamuna you'll see it i'll actually show it to you on my my map yeah, right there. Bottomless pit. This is for the necrochasm. Uh, very important. Should definitely do it. Again, that old video. From zero, this is a huge, huge, important quest. You can get three Eared of Loops out of five. You can get you could do this quest on each character. This is a quest that's on each character for Niamuna for the Lightfall expansion. If you do this on all three care on all three characters, if you have one, you'll get three Eared of Loop out of five. So it's kind of nice. Trust me, farming those Niamuna weapons hard. Uh learning light. This is a beginning quest, so we can leave it. But you know, to me, I don't if, 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 you know. For my sake, I'm just going to get rid of it because I know the game. This is my last wish quest. I'll leave that. Monte Carlo. Huge. Should definitely do it. It's great. Going to drop an exotic I don't have. Parasite. This is tied to finishing the Witch Queen campaign. So if you just want to burn through the campaign on normal mode, you'll get Parasite quest. Complete a Wellspring activity. This is tied to Witch Queen as well. I don't need that in my inventory. 
Divine Fragmentation. This is for Divinity, and Larry will never get Divinity. So we don't have to worry about that. This is that pesky Weather Horde Catalyst that we're going to leave on me. Beyond Light. I don't have Beyond Light on my account, but it's nice to know that I have a nice start on how to start that DLC. The reason why it's nice to clean this out is because you want to know what you're working on, and I know you're very overwhelmed. Plus, what people don't know is down here, it tells you 30 quests out of 63. So you can only have so many quests and so many bounties. When you're a returning player, you're probably going to be working on a lot of bounties for XP. So clean it up. Trust me. They're all waiting for you. Everything you just deleted is waiting for you in the kiosk. You can do them down the road, but clean that up because it's very overwhelming. So we're going to talk about Shadow Keep. Why is Shadow Keep so important? If you don't have Shadow Keep, it's okay. Skip this, you know, skip ahead. Not really. You should watch this and listen. So Shadow Keep is important because there's three exotics in the game that are tied behind Shadow Keep's campaign. It's, it's the only exotics in the game that are tied behind a campaign. To my knowledge, you can get any other exotic in the game through doing Lost Sectors or doing Vex Incursion public events. But these three exotics, the Assassin's Cow, the Phoenix Cradle, and the Storm Dancer's Brace are only tied behind Shadow Keep campaign. So speed run through it, but I'm just letting you know you're gonna. <laughs> It's tough. Another reason why it's kind of important to do Shadow Keep is because you have Xenophage. Yep, Shadow Video. There you go again. How to get Xenophage? You definitely want to unlock it. it. It'll be a quest, and then you go fight a cool boss in Pit of Heresy. You should definitely get that. One more thing I want to add to Shadow Keep is that you can get Deathbringer. Again, type in Google how to get Deathbringer. So when you finish the campaign, you can talk to Eris, and she'll have a quest for you to get Deathbringer. It's a cool exotic rocket launcher. So Lightfall campaign. Uh, as a return turning player you are probably not going to have the actual power level that i have i did the legendary campaign on this account so if i could give you any advice return to the game do the legendary campaign if you're just at 1600 or 1700 if you're at 1800 already because you played previously or you're close to it just speed run through normal but if you're returning and you need those levels once you finish the legendary campaign you will come out 1770 power it saves you from doing all the chores trust me you might get smoked in a few missions but you got friends or you can ask people to play with you and speed run through the campaign it's definitely worth it because it skips all that boring leveling plus once you get one character to 1800 i showed you how to get multiple characters to 1800 obviously on all characters you would just speed run through it on normal mode because you are going to want to finish a lot of stuff on niamuna because so first of all you're on titan you've seen videos and you're like banner of war how do i get that well here's where we start getting tricky you need to complete deterministic chaos quest the name of the quest is unfinished business for banner of war and once you finish that you're going to be able to unlock the other quests parting the veil and unveiled once you finish all those you'll have access to the new aspects that's how you can get banner of war so stuff like that is very important you're going to get teased with strand all throughout the lightfall campaign but there's going to be a lot of stuff you need to do with after to unlock the aspects and unlock the fragments sound the alarms make this another important message you see these right here strand meditations are tough to come by at first because you're just getting into unlocking strand please please look up a, a build first look up a strand build first to see which fragments you need to unlock that way you buy four fragments that you're running in a build and you can just stack these for the rest of your playtime until you need them down the road i mean obviously you want grapple and jackal nade but as you see here i only unlock certain ones so i could stack it up definitely worth your time another good thing about looking up builds i can only buy four fragments for my titan because that's the build i want to run but you can save those meditations for other characters but we all know you're returning to the game you're only playing on one class right now and i'm showing you all these ways to play on multiple classes trust me play all three classes for final shape you won't regret it all right so to get your strand meditations while you're running around on niamuna doing your quests you're gonna find things like this if you interact with that it's free strand meditations so we're gonna get up there and interact with it bam 325 so look around for them while you're roaming the area right here at the puka pond uh, you can check some quests here for exotics obviously and this is gonna be your strand aspects simple easy unlock them i'm just gonna do that here you don't have to do it like ikora you can just pick it and it's unlocked also if you want winter bite it'll be up here in this area so obviously when you're doing lightfall campaign you're either trying to catch up on light level legend and master lost sectors you're like how do i get more exotics Vex strike force is dropping me 
me some exotics, but how do I get all these exotics that I'm missing? Well, doing the Amuna missions and paying attention to the Vex Strike Force is not the only thing you can do. Obviously, you should get ready for the Lost Sectors. They're 1830 on Legend. You can find really easy ones and just burn through them and do as many as you want and get all the exotics you're missing. But when you're returning to the game, even if you don't know Witch Queen, you need to do the first mission of Witch Queen to unlock the Enclave. This is where you're going to craft your weapons. Very important. If you are owning Witch Queen, because you got it for free on sale or you just own it you'll end up running into this place in any way there's a lot of cool things tied to witch queen i would definitely uh speed run the campaign no problem uh you got parasite you got the exotic glaives you got vile the disciples some of the best raid weapons out there find some teams and obviously unlock crafting that's it i'm going to talk about about witch queen don't want to go into nothing too crazy i mean you'll see as you go witch queen is just like lightfall the more you play it the more you finish quests the more stuff you unlock preservation the wellspring you know stuff like that there's a whole bunch of stuff going on but like i said it's old content so everybody's focusing on lightfall to catch up this is where my parasite is you just get the parasite after you beat the campaign but witch queen was probably the best cam one of the best campaigns since uh taking king but i get it gotta catch back up all right we're gonna talk about beyond light now this is definitely an important campaign simply because it's the only way to unlock stasis if you want stasis you're definitely gonna, i mean it's a subclass you should want it you should definitely beat the campaign there's some stuff that's tied to this campaign that's kind of nice you have cloud strike which you get from empire hunts so if you just speed around the campaign you'll unlock empire hunts and run as many as you can until you get cloud strike to drop lament i showed you that quest at banshee he'll have it there and you unlock lament sword um other than that once you unlock stasis there was a very painful quest to go through but bungie made it more accessible now and you can come here to the exo stranger and buy everything like you could do at ikora and also on niamuna as you see here i don't even have all my stasis fragments unlocked so uh yeah let's get these done yeah kind of tough here yay i did it i unlocked them all so yeah that's what's nice now but since this is tied to a subclass i think you should do it run through the campaign stasis fragments cloud strike lament enjoy it so now a lot of people don't really know what third-party websites we use for weapons loadouts making builds and i kind of just wanted to go over some stuff that people use obviously console uh some people use their phone for like ishtar or dim but i'm kind of going over some websites here so this is d2 foundry so if you're farming the new auto rifle from the dungeon you could simply click on it and you're pretty much paying attention to your stats here i'm gonna do my role i have a full bore ricochet zen moments with target lock and a range masterwork and it's pretty much just telling me how good it is with stats and I can compare it, which is really good. You can compare your roles. Me personally, the website's okay, but I wanna know what people are using. So me personally, I like light.gg because I could just type in the weapon that I'm looking for. And if I scroll down, it's gonna give me popular trait combos. It's telling me eight different roles here, what people are looking for. And also everyone's like fan favorites on the percentages. So when I scroll uh, right here, I can kind of see what everything means. I can read what the perk is. And then here's more percentages here, 21% favorites and moments and then target lock. I like it because I can just scroll over the perk. I can read what the perk does, how it procs. And sometimes it matters to me what I'm getting here. I want to know what Ricochet does. It's going to give me five range, 10 stability. I think it's just more user-friendly, but again, the I'm not saying what's better than the others, but light.gg found D2 Foundry or what people use for weapons and rolls. Now let's kind of go into the build side. D2 Armor Picker is definitely a fan favorite. I love this. Uh, I can walk you through this real quick. I selected Titan. I went down. I picked my Void subclass for my PvP build. I selected every single fragment that I use. And then I just wanted to go after stats for my PvP stats. I want Intellect, Recovery, and Resilience for playing Trials. And it kind of just broke down this for me and said hey there's one build that exists in your whole vault so i could just come down here and click equip if this doesn't work you can always open it in a dim loadout by clicking this and it's going to save it for you which is nice if you're not a fan of d2 armor picker in dim you can do the exact same thing you can go to loadout optimizer and i'm going to walk you through this simply i just learned how to do this today i think it's pretty cool so i'm going to select an exotic go to my dune marchers go down to mods i don't have to do anything here assume masterwork i click Clicked all subclass. I'm going to go in and pick void, and then I can customize my subclass 
pick which I'm going to use and pretty much just going to make sure everything that is selected here. Uh, it looks like everything is selected the way I want it. I'm going to click apply and then I'm going to come up here and select my stats. And once I'm done, I'm just going to hit equip and then I can add on my mods that I want for the build. You could save the loadout. I think this is really cool. Definitely should be paying attention to this kind of stuff as a returning player. Because as you see here, I have tons and tons and tons of loadouts saved. So hopefully you watch and this encourages you to use it or try it out.